Hi, I'm Olivia, one of your librarians here at Jefferson College, and today we're going to discuss scholarly sources, what they are and what makes them distinct from popular sources. For a refresher on what popular sources are, or the many different types of sources, you can check out the videos linked in the description or on the library's YouTube page. Odds are you're here because your instructor just handed you an assignment requiring you to use a certain number of scholarly sources, and you don't really know what that means. It's understandable. After all, there's a lot of information out there. How can you possibly know if what you found is considered scholarly? Well, luckily for you, we've made it a whole lot easier. So scholarly sources, which might also be called academic or peer-reviewed sources, most commonly refer to scientific, academic, peer-reviewed articles and the journals that they're published in. Basically, any published reports or original research and analysis conducted by scholars, academics, researchers, or other experts in a specific field. Scholarly sources are by and for these experts to share their new findings with each other, which means that these articles are pretty formal and use a lot of words that are specific to the research subject. But wait, if a scholarly source is written for other experts, why did your instructor ask you to use them? Well, there's actually a lot of good reasons, mostly having to do with the fact that scholarly articles must be peer reviewed before they're published. So when an article is peer reviewed, it means that it has been vetted and approved by other experts in the field. So they do all the fact checking so you don't have to, ensuring that the information is trustworthy, credible, and conveyed without bias. That's why scholarly sources are going to be your best bet for accurate information on your topic. So let's take a look at an example of a journal article. Um, so this is one that I found using the library search tool discovery. Um, and we've landed right here on the detailed record page, but we're going to go up here and check out the PDF full text. So when you can pull that up, you can pretty much instantly see how it looks identical to how it would appear in published form. Um, and that's usually helpful for citation purposes because you'll see accurate page numbers. You can also see in this one where it was published. So this one was published in the Journal of Comparative Psychology. You can also pretty much see, especially looking at the pages over here, that it looks pretty formal, fairly long, uh, and it's mostly just text, which is pretty different compared to popular sources that you'll see online. And so with scholarly sources, you're generally going to find a lot of the same elements. Um, unlike popular sources, scholarly articles might have a team of authors um, instead of just one. And you can see that for this article, we do have three different authors, and they are all academics who work at different universities and colleges. Um, you'll also see an abstract, which we have right here, um, in addition to a lot of other standard sections that are in uh, scholarly articles like methodology, um, their different, you know, research process, um, as well as their results or findings. Um, and most importantly, you have your references or bibliography sections. So scholarly articles actually require researchers to report where they found their information, um, but it also makes it really easy for students like you to use these uh, references or bibliographies to find additional sources of information for your own research purposes. As we've discussed, you can find scholarly articles in scholarly journals, which exist in all areas of research. Basically, if you can study it, there's probably a journal for it. Research databases are full of scholarly sources too. These are online platforms that can be used to search for and access information, and there is a lot of it. So databases are often organized by subject or content type. Databases also make searching for scholarly articles pretty easy since they allow you to use filters or limiters to narrow down your search results by whether or not something is peer reviewed, where it was published, the subjects it discusses, and many, many more things. And the best part, you can get access to all kinds of journals and databases for free from the library. And that's it for us today. As always, if you have any questions or need any assistance finding scholarly sources for an assignment, come visit us at the library or contact us through one of these methods.